As I'm sure you guys have heard that a couple months ago, AMD released a statement that they have a potential fix on some of the issues that we're seeing with the FTPM, the USB issues, and some of the other just re performance related issues that we're seeing on basically every AM4 platform. A couple months later, most of these manufacturers have that update available. So in today's video, I'm gonna go in, show you how to download that update and update your board to the latest 1207 BIOS update. Stick around. So to get this started, really easy to do. You're gonna to want to determine what motherboard it is that you have and then visit their website to download the latest BIOS update. Now it would be good if you had your uh, manual, maybe your a physical copy or a digital copy in case you need to refer to it. Some motherboards have a specific USB port that you have to plug the flash drive into in order to update the BIOS. My X570 Prime Pro from Asus does not. However, it is good practice to plug the USB drive directly into the motherboard when doing a BIOS update and not through a hub, just to make sure things don't become corrupt. So again, links will be down below for the most common manufacturers, but we're here on Asus's website. Again, I've got the Prime X570 Pro, um, and we're just gonna click on this support tab here. You're gonna wanna navigate through your manufacturer's website to the support section, and you're gonna look for something around the line of like drivers, BIOS updates, firmware, something along those lines. You can see on the Asus page here, we've got drivers and tools. We actually wanna click over to the BIOS and firmware section. So we're gonna click on that. And we've got the latest BIOS update right here. If you look through the little uh, the little documentation or the little uh, patch notes essentially, you've got one update AMD AM4 AGESA1207. This is the update that we're looking for. Another thing with BIOS updates is if you're too far behind, you may have to do incremental updates to get to the latest. I'm fairly new as far as updated, uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and try the 1207 update and see what happens. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on download. It's gonna download the BIOS update in a zip file. You will need to extract those zip contents wherever you want it to be. I'm just gonna take them over to the desktop here. And you can see that we've got two different files, ignore the other files, but we've got a BIOS renamer. All this does is just rename this file to a simpler name that the BIOS can read a little bit easier. So we're gonna run that first. Not all manufacturers may have that. Asus does. Looks just like this. You can see the file was renamed to blah, 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 blah. Press any key to continue. Boom, press key, goes away. And you can see that the BIOS file has been updated. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're gonna copy it to our flash drive. You will want to have a four gigabyte or larger drive just in case. And it will need to be empty because you're gonna paste or put this file on the root directory. So we're gonna go into the Kingston here. You can see that there's nothing else on this drive. I'm just gonna paste this directly on the root directory. So now that we've got this copied over, we're now ready to leave the, plug the drive into the board, reboot into BIOS and update the BIOS. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here's the BIOS. Sorry if the angle's a little bit or the sound is a little bit off. I'm a little angled on the, on the microphone here. But essentially we are now in the Asus's um, BIOS utility, you can see UFE, UEFI BIOS utility, EZ mode. We're actually gonna to go to advanced mode down here. So we're gonna hit F7. That's gonna put us in advanced mode. Again, this is where it's gonna be good for you to consult your manual because the process of updating the BIOS is slightly different for every manufacturer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come over here to the tool section. I've got my USB plug directly in the motherboard on the back of this computer. And we're just gonna to navigate to the tool section and then we're gonna go into the Asus Easy Flash Utility. This is Asus's version of their BIOS Flash. So we're gonna click into that. And this is where things can get a little bit tricky because you're gonna to want to determine uh, what drive it is. And sometimes if you have multiple drives like I do, it might be a little bit harder to figure out. I'm gonna say it's the FS2 just because I know this USB drive is a four gigabyte drive. Um, and I don't have any other four gigabyte systems in the system, so or drives in the system. So I'm going to click on that. And lo and behold, there it is. You can see the PX570Pro.cap. This is the file that we're looking for. This might just be a little process of uh, kind of trial and error, finding out which drive you have where. Find the file. Once you get to it, you can then navigate to it. You can see that it's highlighted blue. And then we're going to hit enter. Please back up your BitLocker recovery key and suspend BitLocker encryption in the operating before updating your BIOS. If you use that, pay attention to this warning because if you do this, um, you're not going to have 
access to your encrypted information. I don't have that, thankfully. I don't use that, so we're good here. I'm going to just go ahead and click on yes. It says, do you want to read this file? Again, click on enter or tap on enter. You can do whichever you want. Uh, do you really want to update the BIOS? It's giving you the BIOS information, X570-4403. Date was April 27th, which is the 1207 update. Again, you can move the mouse. It's very slow. Or you can just use your keyboard like an old school person and hit yes. Down here, you've got a process bar. Again, if you have to do it incrementally, you'll have to find out which is an older version. Start with that one and kind of work your way up. But let this bar go all the way across. Once that is complete, you should have a message saying that it's been updated successfully and typically the computer will reboot. So here's one quick thing that I noticed when I rebooted after the BIOS update is I was getting an error saying that the CPU fan couldn't be detected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the monitor after going into the advanced mode and turning the CPU fan speed to ignore because I have a pump because I'm running an all-in-one liquid cooler that it doesn't really need to see that fan speed in order for the system to boot. So I've got that set to ignore. I'm going to hit F10, hit yes, and let's see if the system boots from here. And there we have it. We've got the BIOS updated. As far as like performance, I will be sure to let you guys know if I see any weird issues um, with stuttering or anything like that. I am still on Windows 10, so I don't know that I'll see a whole lot of differences. So there you have it, really easy to do. Hopefully you guys were able to get yours updated and running the way that it should. I will also post the links for the main manufacturer, motherboard manufacturers, support pages down below to make it really easy to access those BIOS updates. But if you're still having some troubles, please reach out down in the comments and I will answer those as soon as I can. But as far as this video is concerned, that is going to do it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If the video helped you out, you guys know what to do. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.